Now, could you first of all tell me your name? Andrew. Andrew. OK, welcome, Andrew. Would you like to just stand here for a minute, please? And what Bippin is going to do, and myself, is we're going to equip you with certain bits of material. Right, so perhaps if you can just stand just slightly more that way. Thank you very much. What we've got is a, effectively a pair of gloves. This goes on this side. I'm sorry. OK, would you like to slip your hands into that? And can you do exactly the same with that one? That's terrific. Lovely. And thank you. And finally, just, I'm just going to clip something on your back. There we go. Won't hurt. Right. Now, if you just stand a little bit more here. That's excellent. Thank you. Could you just extend your arms out? Ah, oh, excellent. There's a beginning here of a wing. But it's only a beginning. Because we've, what we've done is we've equipped Andrew with some flaps, tissue, which might provide some sort of supporting surface for gliding magnificently through the sky. However, it's not going to work quite yet. Could I have two more volunteers, please? Ah, oh, right, OK. Could I have the, 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 the girl who's, um, I think, third up with the stripes? Yes? No, that's you. Yes, please, come. Yes, thank you. And another one, please. Um, the second along there, please. Uh, that's, no, the chap who's looking away. Yeah, yes, you. Yeah, that's terrific. Great. <laughs> you did volunteer, didn't you? Great, excellent. Would you like to come round here for a minute? And would you like to stay there? Can you first of all tell me your names? Lucy. Lucy? Toby. And Toby, right, OK. Could each of you, from Andrew's wing, do you see those little red things on either end? Can you draw them out? There we go. There we go. And a bit further. And you can take that a little bit further. Yeah. There we go. OK. Now Andrew is properly equipped. And could you give a small demonstration of your flying abilities? If you could just raise them up. Excellent. Marvellous. OK. Right away. High. OK. And down. The point, and we'll just lower them very slightly. <laughs> Thank you. The point about the modification of Andrew's hand into a wing is that's exactly what happens with this pterodactyl. It is, in fact, the, the equivalent of what we usually call our ring fingers. This one here, which has been extended into one enormous finger, and that's what these structures are out here. One single extension of the finger provides this huge wing which allowed Andrew, ideally, to fly. Right, now, first of all, Toby and Lucy, if we could just retract these wings. Toby, if you want to, can you just push those back? Lovely. OK, right. Splendid, thank you. Now, if you two could kindly stay here. Toby, do you want to stay here? <laughs> but could I thank Andrew very much indeed for his help? And if you make your way down in that direction. Thank you. Lovely. Well, the size that Andrew was as a pterodactyl was actually quite similar to some of the ones which soared above the dinosaurs, but some of them were even bigger, and they were absolutely enormous. And I think, yes, coming down here, we have, well, if you like, a rather extraordinary Christmas present. There we are, splendid. We'll just take it down, first of all, to the ground, like that. Now, we need to go through this quite carefully, because the first thing I have to do, close to Christmas, is unwrap this thing. Like that. Now, what I want the two of you to do is, Lucy, can you walk up those steps there? Going, no, wait, just not, da, da, da. And Toby, I want you to walk up those steps up there. Go slowly, watch your step, and let's see what happens, OK? Hold that quite tight. Get your hand properly around it. That's it. OK? There's no hurry. No hurry at all. How are we doing? Super. Keep on walking, Lucy. You're doing well, Toby. Wait. Tremendous. <laughs> Tremendous. Thank you. Can you just stay there for a minute? Because here we have a life-size replica of one of the biggest of these pterodactyls. These were astonishingly large creatures. They are as big as a small glider. And you must imagine these things soaring above the lands where the dinosaurs were roaming at the same time. They, it, there's almost no way one could in, can, can capture the beauty of what those things must have been like, probably soaring kilometres up into the air with a wonderful system of aeronautical, if you like, design. So this shows how this transition into the air has been achieved by one group of reptiles.